what's up got some interesting diagnostics for you so I've had a miner that uh, I upgraded the SD card quite a while ago and while it was mining for a little bit then it just kind of went silent so uh, I came back to diagnose this this is in the cluster that uh, I installed myself about a year ago now and uh, almost the same type of weather very very hot so you can see it in the background there so what happened was uh, it was completely dead and when I well not completely dead it was it was it had power and I was able to open it up and I couldn't pair with it but then I noticed that there was a green flashing light so on the top on the miner let's go ahead and take a look come a walk on the wanna walk with me <laughs> Woo! fun stuff okay so on the top side of this miner this is the rack v2 there is a uh, an, a red light which is always supposed to be on and then a green light which is really not supposed to be uh, in use at all maybe a little bit on boot up but that's about it and so what was happening was the the green light was going like flash 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 about that uh, amount of time uh, in that cadence so looked it up and it seemed like it was an SD card error now that was a brand new SD card that I had put in there and so I was thinking to myself what, what could have gone wrong you know okay well I guess I could try and reflash the miner or reflash the SD card and that um, was it you know just try it see what see if it works or not so I flashed it and it did not work um, well I mean while I could pair with the miner again it would not uh, mine or sink or anything like that um, so it was marginally better but overall overwhelmingly I was as sad as that child is if you can hear this in the background <laughs> so um, looking at that miner the only other option I had was to go get a brand new SD card and try that um, and so this is the endless diagnostics I feel like I know enough to be dangerous here maybe not hacker level dangerous but diagnosing things yeah I can there's a few things I can try so um, as much of the repowering and stuff I, I did, I, I was not able to get it to go. So I got the new SD card and flashed that image. And while I was reviewing those notes, it's always good. Even if you think you know the process, go back to the official documentation and read through line by line and read the end because sometimes they put a note at the end, which is actually kind of important. And that's what I encountered. So um, it, in that instructions, at the very end it says, uh, do not reboot the miner after 30 minutes uh, of behavior. Don't don't pair with it. And and <laughs> what's the immediate thing when I uh, that I do when I want to set up a new hotspot? I pair with it and I set the wireless network. So therein probably lied the problem because what I did was I immediately like repowered it and I'm like ah come on I need to set the wireless network on you I like backups upon backups and that probably uh, might have hosed it um, so one thing I did learn uh, a little bit more about that whole process is that when you flash it the first time that it boots up it actually uh, creates three partitions it looks like from what I was able to gather so what is a partition you may ask is it's basically just a dividing up a storage mechanism they use this on on your computers to have a reserve space to like if you ever need to like reflash the operating system so say your computer has a bug on it or it gets hacked and you just want to reboot the whole thing and have that that very fresh uh, install well that's what you can do and so the partition basically had the three different partitions and it'd be interesting to know what they do exactly uh, to diagnose a little bit more but anyways so I, I put the new uh, SD card in and fired up and I, like the instructions said, uh, leave it alone for a half hour. And I actually left it alone for darn near an hour. Came back to it and the first thing I tried to do was just pair with it. Like, are you okay, dude? And it uh, would not pair, it gave me an unable to pair with the miner. Uh, it just says the miner isn't responding. So. That was just a few minutes ago and then finally I, I just decided okay I'm gonna reboot it once and I did and then it came back 
and I was able, uh, well, it was actually giving me the same error message on the Helium app. But when I went to the Helium Hotspot utility, which if you know me, that's one of, the, one of my tools in my tool belt that I like to use still a lot. Um, it's been a little more buggy, I should say, but this time it came through. So I was actually able to get diagnostics on the miner. Not only did it say that I was um, connected via ethernet, I was also able to get an inbound connection and an outbound connection. And the sync, uh, let's see here, it was something about like, it wasn't, it wasn't 0%, but it wasn't 1%. I can't remember exactly what, what it was saying in the diagnostics, but anyways, so that part was uh, working it seemed like and actually syncing so we know that the blockchain at least right now or, or at least explorer is, is behind a little bit and so i i'm waiting awaiting results on on explorer just to see if the the miner is up or not but as far as i can tell it seems to be up so uh, i'm going to throw this out to uh, the ether here is that if you're having an inactive hotspot you might try flashing the SD card again. And when you do so, and again, this is on the Rack V2 that I'm using, when you flash that, you leave that sucker alone. And, and it might even be helpful if you're using an enclosure like I am, to just take that out and temporarily set it up so that it's, con it's uh, connected to the internet and that you don't have to keep climbing on a roof like I am, <laughs> right? So I very much recommend that because it's going to be a time intensive process. But if you care about getting your miner back up and working, this might be the, the case. So I'm going to keep keep tabs on this and then I'm going to put the, uh, the update in the description down below about if this process actually worked. Because if it does work, then we can get a bunch of the network going again. So maybe hero status achieved? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, don't forget, Rack makes great products. Don't don't take this, you know, slight error on on their part. Uh, don't don't blame them. You know, there's a lot of things. SD card quality, um, you know, internet quality, all that kind of stuff. Blockchain problems. Like, th this is a part of creating something. So don't 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 blame them for for everything. Of course, they're trying to do their best as well. And it takes people like me and you to figure out what's going on with this network and share the information because it's all good. And it's part of what the Helium community is all about. So I'm gonna probably close this sucker back out up and uh, there are starting to be some storms potential rolling in here. But uh, yeah, just a shout out to Rack for the quality. I really like this Rack enclosure. If you do have a MNTD or minted uh, or Rack V2 like I do, um, these enclosures are awesome. Um, I've never had any water penetrating these. Uh, with the Bobcat I did, but uh, it turns out that was on me. So I still have some feedback. Hopefully if I get to Austin, I'll be able to sit down with the Rack folks themselves uh, across from the table and just talk about some of my findings um, and just give them some suggestions. It's a little bit different with the uh, Minnesota winters uh, on how it, bangs on the equipment and affects it differently so yeah that's that's kind of the thing and if so if you want to order your own rack equipment you can actually get it's on sale i think for like one more day so use the code rack 15 and definitely go down to the description and click the uh referral link that i have there for all of rack stuff go ahead and uh charge away responsibly uh on my referral code and i get a, a cut of that and all that I definitely will go to uh, supporting my trip to Austin and hanging out with you folks, having some some beverages, and it is so hot. I'm going to probably go have a beverage myself. Uh, yeah. And check out the swag that I have listed as well in the description below. And always like and subscribe if you appreciate this kind of diagnostic level. And yeah, it might take me 10 minutes to say it, but it's darn good information. Uh, hit that like hit that subscribe and share the heck out of this video because that's what it's all about, getting to the good stuff. And I'll always put stuff down in the description if I discover things out later. So check that out or pinned comment, or if you got other feedback and what you've tried as well, put that in here. Let's, let's bring this network back because a lot more is in our hands than we might realize here. So that's it, that's y'all.
Take care and carpe tempestas. Woo!